This episode is powered by Ugreen. So if you're like me, still rocking multiple hard drives and SSDs in different shapes and sizes, or overpaying for cloud services like Google Drive, well, this is the solution for us. Ugreen recently launched their DH4300 Plus, an easy to set up NAS unit that costs way cheaper than most units out there. And I've always been intimidated by the idea of setting up a NAS, but Ugreen made everything simple and anyone can set this NAS up without prior knowledge. Now I'll show you how simple it is later in this video, but as a filmmaker, backups are key. And I have three backup copies of my current projects and past projects on Lacey Drives and Google Drive. And I usually pay around $50 USD a month for a 10 terabyte storage. But now I basically have my own cloud system with this new affordable Ugreen NAS. And this unit costs less than $350 and another $500 for 16 terabytes for my drives. And that's about $850 for one year and five month membership with Google. With a NAS like this, there's no more monthly fees because again, you have your own cloud system that lives locally and safely right in your own drives. Now, here's the best part. Unlike a cloud subscription, you don't need to keep upgrading your monthly membership fees, but you only have to upgrade the sizes of your drives. You get bigger drives so you can store more files. And mind you, every so often storage gets cheaper and cheaper, but cloud subscriptions get more expensive due to inflation and additional services and whatnot. Remember when four terabyte drives were super expensive? Now I can easily afford four terabyte drives without my wallet crying. One thing to note about backups though is to follow the three to one backup rule, which is three copies of your files in two different medias, in this case, a NAS and external drive and one offsite. And in my case, another NAS or an external drive in my other residence in Asia. And for most people, that's usually the cloud service. If you're filming professional gigs, and even if you're getting sponsored videos on social media, it's good to have backups of backups in case something happens with one location. Even if you're not a professional, even if you're just storing photos and videos of memories with your loved ones, it's always good to have extra backups because these things only happen once. One of the impressive things with this Ugreen NAS is the maximum amount of data we can put in. We can put a maximum of 120 terabytes in total. And to give you perspective, that's 41 million photos or 80,000 movies or 125 million files. And that's a lot in just one drive. There's a bunch of drives that are highly compatible with the Ugreen NAS and like other companies that use their proprietary drives, which can get expensive and you would be locked in into one system. But what I'm using here is the Seagate Ironwolf 4TB NAS drives. And here's a quick preview as well of the other drives that can work well with the DH4300 Plus. It is on their website as well if you want to learn more. <music> So here's what comes in the box with it. You get the main NAS unit, four disc holders, a power cord, ethernet cable, and a quick setup guide. Get your drives out of the box, install it in each bay with the provided screws using the provided screwdriver and place everything back into their respective base. Now, plug in the power and the ethernet cable. Mind you, you have to connect the NAS to your main internet router so you get the best upload and download that you get from your internet provider. Now, after you plug it into your network, press the power button and it should start up. You can actually do the setup with your phone by placing your phone on the NFC chip and you should get a link pop up to download the Ugreen app. You can also do this on your laptop and it will be the exact same with the mobile version. Now moving along with the setup, select a new device registration and the NAS should show up. Change the name of your NAS if you'd like and click next. Create your administrator account and this is what you'll use to get into your NAS using your phone or computer. And then after this, you can bind an email address for remote access. The NAS will set up and takes about five to 10 minutes, including reboot. And once it's done, we can set up the hard drives. 
Personally, I've chosen RAID 5, so one of the drives will act as a data recovery in case something fails. Every RAID option has a description, so you won't be lost on what you pick. But just to be safe, RAID 5 is a decent choice. And after the setup, you're basically done. Your NAS is ready to use, and it's as simple as that. Now you can easily access your NAS through the mobile app or your computer, either through the app or a web browser. This NAS is basically its own computer and you get to install apps like photos, music, and security. This NAS unit comes with a built-in security manager to begin with, and it has different security features for your data to stay safe. Now you can also set up multiple users and manage permissions so you know who has access to what. Now I've installed the security app as well as it is an antivirus software that adds a layer of protection for your files in real time. Now, I wanted to show the difference between having your own NAS act as your own cloud storage versus Google Drive. Some companies can throttle your uploads and download speeds as well, but with the Ugreen NAS, you have full speed and it's quicker than Google Drive. Google Drive is also a pain when dealing with large video files. Let's say a client of mine shot a long interview and they shot it in 4K RAW and I end up doing data management for a whole day instead of starting an edit. Here's a quick upload comparison between Google Drive and the Ugreen NAS and the NAS system. Since it's local, it's way faster. If you're also interested, once you download the Photos app, you can actually turn on the AI Album Assistant. Note that this is local and does not send data anywhere. Think of it as a local script that only runs on your computer, or in this case, your NAS unit, and it can easily sort out your photos to distinguish who's who or what's what. You can try to give it a quick search and it will show you any related photos based on the search. Another cool thing is that it'll also identify people so that you can add names to them once they're sorted out. This is a pretty handy feature for organization. Having an ass is crucial as a storage setup for any creatives out there. Now you can access it on your phone or on your computer and you have the whole overview of the system. Use it as a backup, a media center, or simply a place to store all of your digital files. It's a great way to save on subscription fees because with a NAS system, you'll buy physical drives rather than a monthly cost. If you're still reluctant on diving into a NAS, Ugreen has made a unit that is super simple, easy to set up, and more affordable than ever. If you are interested, check the link in the description to get 20% off on October 7th to the 8th. And if you do have any questions, about the Ugreen DH4300 Plus, let me know in the comments down below. But until then, I will see you in the next video. Peace.